For the year 2020, we have set the theme as Dare to Adapt in the Fast Changing World. In the past two years, we have been reminding ourselves that Asia Pacific has entered the late economic cycle, which means that we have low economic growth. But given the fact that we are in a rapid changing environment in both macroeconomic and geopolitical landscapes, CBRE emphasizes that both investors and occupiers should adapt and remain flexible. At the beginning of this year, we were expecting an improvement in the regional economic growth as the trade tension between US and China has been eased, together with the phase one deals has been signed. However, the outbreak of coronavirus has dominated the headlines and has acted as a black swan to our global and regional economy growth. The disruptions to the business and investment activities will be short-lived. We expect the economy growth will bounce back in the second half of 2020 if the virus is well contained. However, we lower our four-year GDP growth for China till 5.5%. For the regional growth, we also lower down our growth our forecast to 3.9%. Corporates under such circumstances will focus on delivering profits and increase scrutiny on spending. We expect office net absorption for Asia Pacific to drop further from year 2019. Supply will outstrip demand, allowing tenants to stay at the upper hand on the negotiation table. Office rental growth will remain weak in most parts of the region. We also expect rental corrections in mainland China and Hong Kong for the first part of the year and start to stabilize for the rest of the year. Companies have to adopt business continuity plans during the outbreak of COVID-19 and allow staff to work from home. This could spur more corporates to adopt agile working in the long run. Sustainability and wellness features could also become more important considerations when choosing a location. For retailers, agility would mean the ability to serve their customers both online and offline. As we see substantial disruption to physical retail under the outbreak of COVID-19, retailers are swiftly discovering ways to promote their online platforms. The overall logistics demand will therefore remain robust and continue to embrace technological advancement for higher efficiency. Rents for high specification logistics facilities are expected to grow steadily. We continue to believe that retail is here to stay. Despite the current challenges, landlords and retailers have to upgrade their shopping experience by introducing more entertainment, interactive, artistic or educational elements. However, the impact from COVID-19 is massive on retail and entertainment. Landlords are launching rental reduction programs in Greater China to alleviate the pressure from their tenants. Retail rents are likely to stay unchanged or decline in some of the markets. In the capital market side, we continue to strengthen their portfolio resilience by focusing on structural and the defensive play. First, there are plenty of liquidity within Asia-Pacific real estate investment markets. The purchasing activities is going to be led by fund managers. CBRE estimates over 80 billion US dollars from fund managers to be deployed over the next two years. Australia, Japan, and China are their common focus. Second, interest rate will stay low for longer. The lower cost of borrowing means asset owners they will not be under pressure to lower asset prices. As a result, pricing gap will remain significant. The combination of lower interest rate and strong liquidities means the yield for commercial real estate market is going to remain low for longer. CBOE believes that investors should therefore underway their cyclical investment positions and to strengthen to focus on the structural opportunities. We will actually love to highlight a few investment opportunities to share with you. Number one, we are expecting to see highly geared Chinese developers to dispose of their asset in 2020 in order to make their debt payment. This is going to be super attractive for opportunistic fund managers. Although the retail has fallen out of favor among investors, shopping malls managed by experienced landlords continue to outperform. 
If you're a long-term investor, you should look into the opportunities to purchase retail. Under the current retail sentiment, actually, retail looks very attractive for the risk-adjusted returns. And the quick adoption of 5G, aging populations, and the growth of online grocery sales actually create additional demand for niche sectors. We particularly like data centers, cold storage, and multifamilies.